You guys look really ugly, but it's fine. Okay, good. This is a 360 look. <coughs> no flies. Your mom flies. Yes, you read the title right. Uh, why is skateboarding so trendy? Do we actually think skateboarding is trendy or are we just being pompous? I don't really know. I um, think so. You think skateboarding's trendy? Yeah, for the most part. For the most part? You think it's still just as trendy as it once was? Because I think there was a point in time when it peaked in trendiness. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. I, I don't think it's as cool as it was before, but I think like there's a certain trend to certain things in skating still. Yeah, okay. for sure. I see what you're saying. Okay, so when I, when I thought of the question, I thought like, why is skateboarding so trendy? And I thought like, to the outsider looking in, thinking that skateboarding is a cool thing to do, but you're actually saying, why is skateboarding so trendy? Like inside skateboarding, why are there so many I was trendy hipsters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, we can talk, we can discuss both. Skateboarding is very trendy and there are a lot of hipsters. I hate saying that word because I think it's the most cringe thing ever. The hipster thing? Yeah, just the, yeah. that word. I don't like saying that word. It's like when people say kook. I think a lot, of, a lot of people skateboard to feel like, feel a certain way, but like it, there's so many different ways to feel. Like people want to skate to feel like a hipster. People want to okay. skate to feel gnarly. And it's like everyone kind of has their own take on what skating is to them. And right. It's so right. weird. It's all over the board. So right. Some people do it because they think it's like a smart thing to do, or I don't know, or they want to do it because they like drugs. Like I don't know. Like it's all over the board. Is what I'm saying. It really is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everybody has their personal reason of why skateboarding or what skateboarding is. To them. Let's start here. So, it everything comes in waves within skateboarding. Like, and and I think that's just in society too, in general. Like right. within pop it culture, trends. like things resurface. Like the '80s resurfaced and the 90s resurfaced and yeah. you know what I mean, etc. So things constantly resurface and they recycle and a new trend- The Loch Ness Monster resurfaced. Yes, he did. <laughs> With the technology that's available, what are you doing on your face right now? Cause I can't see you. I'm eating leaves, dude. Eat this. I suck my. Things resurface with the current technology and the current culture around it. So like things that become popular from, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I was literally like so lost for a second, we go ahead. I'm bad. Things thinking? resurface with current technology and the current culture surrounding it. So like when the 90s resurfaced, it resurfaced within the internet culture, which the internet culture just started in the 90s. Basically what my point is, is that, I don't really have a point, I just wanted to make that statement, I guess, apparently. I like that statement. Thanks. You hit me straight up in the loins. Like my nuts feel that statement. Why is there a stigma behind skating that it's like, it's so easy to sort of uh, gravitate towards for people on the outside. Like, why, why is it a trend? Like, why is skating why so is it popular? Appealing? Yeah, why is it appealing? Okay. Um, I think it's because it still has the whole aura around it of being like this rebellious thing. Edgy? Yeah, edgy. It's just edgy. And people think that. And at the same time, it's like, yeah, a lot of skateboarding is because we do have the whole thing where we're like, we have to fight security and cops every day, all the ball. Yeah. We're like, you know, like we have a, you know, we do that a lot more often than most humans. Yeah. And it has, it gives it the edgier vibe. But for us, it doesn't feel that way at all. Like it doesn't no. feel like an edgy activity. No. Um, but that's the appeal to other people. They want to feel like they're part of something that's edgier than their lives have given them. But right. you should be proud of the non-edginess. Be proud of that. Be proud of the genuinity. Is that a word? I think so. Genuinosity? Um, but, but within skating, what I've noticed is, we talked about this, it seems like a lot of times the trend in skating is to sort of alter um, something that's popular in the moment, but like, give it its own vibe. So basically like like when polo shirts are popular, we wear longer polo shirts. You know what I'm saying? Right. It seems right. like there's something in skating right. along the lines. But I always get go to like Mark Johnson's conversation about the whole thing. Where he basically said like Oh, I didn't know he talked about this. Dude, he got on this whole tangent about it where he basically said uh um like skateboarding had its time of originality. Like it had like a three year period where it was original. And then since then every single thing in skating has been bit off something. So right now it's being a bit off hip hop. Like the way that right. we dress and the craziness is like based off like not just the SoundCloud rappers, but just hip hop in general and like the legends in hip hop. That's but how the sound dress. the SoundCloud rap thing does go hand in hand with skateboarding. Oh, right ab now. Absolutely. Sure. absolutely. Yeah, basically it's just anything that seems different in the moment and then out of nowhere, it's on Instagram, it's everywhere, so everybody can yeah. jump on it right away. Right. right. So that's why it becomes a trend, is because everyone does this thing that's obscure and different, but everyone's doing it. Right. So it's the, yeah, it's insane. It's just what's hot when it's happening, you know? And now that we, now that you do have the internet, I feel like we talk about the internet a lot, but it's what we do. It's our job. Yeah. With now with the internet, things things are so easily accessible and they cycle through like so, so quick, so fast, so yeah. quick. The trends literally will die in like a week, but some of them will stay for way longer than they should. Right. Um, right. I mean, yeah, skateboarding. It's it's uh, it correlates with like trends in real life. Like you know we like as a like we jump onto the trends that it's just happening in real life. Right. And um, 
Yeah, it comes It's very probably. connected with hip hop, like the whole polo hats thing, Ralph Lauren, very. like Tommy Hilfiger, like all that is like coming from the whole hip hop world, the whole like SoundCloud world, and like, well, yeah, you're right. And like, we, you, we do it in an exaggerated version where we wear like bigger stuff. Right. Do you think it's weird that we call trends things that seem obscure, but there's a lot of things in skating that last for a long time and, and stay? How come we don't call those things trends? Like, how come we don't call like because just wearing I, dickies? I don't know. Trends? Let's look up this, look up the definition of a trend right now. A general direction in which something is developing or changing. Is developing or changing. Mm -hmm. There are yeah. four more. So, so anything ever. A general direction in which something is developing or changing. So basically, anything is a trend always. Yeah, but but I but so then so then everybody's using trend and trendy very incorrectly because because when people say trend or trendy, they're just referring to something that's like very short lived. Right. You know. And it's saying that anything that is developing, period, is a trend. Right. Well, like think about it in like business meetings when people are talking about like graphs to say you see a sudden trend here in the uprise of. That's revenue. very true. Yeah. Same time. I'm gonna start that. Finger right. and legs. Let's start that. Go cool. foot dab, leg dab, uh, leg dab, lap. I just died in your arms tonight. It must have been something you said. I want to ask the other question, because people always think it is bad. Like be, to be trendy has this very like negative connotation. Right. And I think people assume that because they're like, oh, you're being not original. You're being anti-original. Yeah. Because you're being trendy, but it's I didn't, like. Why do you think that people think that that's so bad? I don't know. Cause it's funny. Cause Nobody. All... Let's say. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're good. Nobody is original anymore. It's Wait, possible. should I say something like that on camera? Do you think that's too like broad? Of a it, thing? It's pretty. It, it's broad, but at the same time, the true definition of orig originality is impossible. Right. It's impossible because everything like that you've learned in your life and as you're growing inspires whatever you do. Right. So right. even if someone does something crazy, like they start walking on their hands for the rest of their lives, that's inspired by walking. It's inspired by handstands. It's really original in the sense of nobody's doing that, right. but it's not original in the sense that it's inspired by things that everybody else does. Right. I, maybe I feel like I feel like people should use the word unique more than they try to use right. original. Right. You know. Yes. Daddy agrees. Father yeah. John definitely agrees with that one. So it sounds like it's just a lot of miscommunication. Maybe it's a lot of miscommunication. It's a lot of miscommunication. It's a lot of subjective. As yes. in, there is no real definition. There, we right. don't know what's actually trendy. There's no reason this sh is and this isn't. Right. Uh, the idea of trendy for, should we just simplify what most people think? It's just basically like these short-lived, weird, quirky things that happen. Right. I feel like that's what most people see it as. And it's like, what's trendy in skating right now? Let's say like Camel. sex change tricks. Sex change tricks. Catching no tricks complies. and then sex changing before you go to the ground. Right. That's technically like a trend. Or let's think about or the fashion. way Or the way you film with your phone, like the super zoom in right. stuff, the super zoom out, like the SoundCloud hip hop music. Right. And I don't I don't hate any of that. Me I think I, like I think it. all of that stuff is sick. Same, same, same. Like, yeah, like the fact that it's trendy, if you were to say that, most people would see that as you're insulting them. Right. But in no right. way are we because we understand that trendy could be anything. It's, well, yeah, it's, but and trendy doesn't always mean bad. Like tr trendy doesn't mean bad or good. Trendy literally means change. Right. What we just looked up the definition. Right. People will say like, oh, that's not trendy, dude. Like they'll think that we're insulting and be like, they'll stand up for it by saying that's not trendy. Right. It's like, yes, it is, but we're not insulting. Well, yeah, we're not. We're, yeah, exactly. That's fine. It's fine right. to be trendy because right. that's what most things are that we love. Right. It's why we hop on things. I don't know. It's crazy. It, it's all over the place. I mean, the, the reason I started skateboarding was because it was around the time that like BAM was super big and all my friends got into skateboarding and I was like, that looks cool. Yeah. That's technically, some people could call it trendy. Right. And some people call I don't it have being inspired. The, right. And I don't have the story of like finding a skateboard in my garage and I had this super intimate spiritual connection to right. skateboard. Although I, I do. Skateboarding is a very intimate and personal thing for yeah. me, but it I wasn't. Like so. Wait, you wanted to talk about fashion though, real quick too. What was the current fashion? Oh yeah, we're well, just saying like, what's the current fashion trend in skating? Was basically that was, I was just gonna add that on top of the trend we were talking about. I mean, yeah, thin shoes, high water pants, uh, camo pants. Now the the uh, not even joggers anymore, but like heavy sweatpants are becoming the right, thing. Right, right. Again, baggy clothes are coming back. Yeah, and it's funny because I had a I had a conversation with a friend, Logan Paul. Not Logan Paul. It was my other really good friend. Right, right, right. Yeah, because he's one of my good friends. Best. Yeah, yeah. Not to mention Jake either. But he was a really good friend. About five years ago, he was like, watch, dude, baggy stuff's going to come back. Come back." And at the time, that thought literally blew my mind because everybody was, everybody was on the skinny jeans trend right. at the time. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And baggy, here it is. It's back. 
as for predictions, where, where where do we think it's gonna be in five years? Maybe title come back, tight pants. But is it just gonna keep flip-flopping back and forth to the same thing? Who knows? Because we don't know in five years what kind of fashion trends, what kind of videography, what kind of video filming trends will be around then. Yeah. We don't know where Instagram will be at. We don't know where YouTube will be at. We don't know what new platforms will be in place. Yeah. So all of that stuff can influence trends. Yeah, if you wanna know my personal opinion, I think the more trends, the better. I like when things change quickly. Me too. I like seeing new things. I like when someone, cause I mean, it, it's not completely original, but it is really cool to go out of what you're used to and do something new. Right. And that's how a trend starts. Right. And I really appreciate that. Right. I'm super hyped on all the, on all of like the younger kids too, having like the younger generation, having the heavy influence on what's popping in skating. I right. think that's sick. A lot of people hate on that. Like I've talked about this before, but Jankum like tweeted some quote about Older generations trying to keep skateboarding from changing. I can't remember the exact quote. It's a great quote. Well, basically, the people who have the best opinions about something are the people embraced in it currently. So, in skating, the people who know the most about what's going on in skating are actually out skating. Right. Not the old people who used to skate all the time, which is still so appreciated, but they are less aware of what's going on currently. Well, I, I, I was just going to say this. I think this is. You can cut this out if you want. Yeah. But it's an expression that I've been using for a long time, but it's called sideline skaters. You know, you go to a football game, you hear people on the sideline who are literally telling these people who have dedicated their lives to playing sports how to play the sport. Oh, right. And it, it to me, it makes no sense. Like, it makes no sense for someone to yell, where's your defense? Why are you blowing it? To a guy who has dedicated his entire life and plays the sport every single day. Right. So for me to hear sideline skating, where it's like people who aren't skating every day, who aren't out here doing what we do every single day, grinding right. and learning tricks, then it's harder for me to take their opinion seriously. Right, right. Just stop. Just kidding. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, I get it though, because you, because because there's a, there's a lot, a lot of heavy opinions in skating, and when you get those dudes like constantly, and like, don't get me wrong, like there's people, there's like older dudes, and those dudes built the industry, right. like mad respect to all of those dudes but when you hear when you hear like and i'm not talking about anybody specifically but just throughout my experience being a skateboarder when you hear those dudes give such a heavy opinion about how this or that sucks and this shouldn't be this way and this should be this way and always be this way it's like you you lose respect for that because it's like and not only do you lose respect but it's just un it doesn't sound empathetic that's fine that you feel that way but i'm sorry like you're one man opinion isn't really gonna do anything. Like these kids coming up are gonna, they're the wave. Right. They're gonna take the the, the throne eventually. These right. kids are gonna be driving the ship eventually. And they are, like right. with, with the internet. Like these are the kids, these are the future. So like right. this is where to put the focus on. Like if I didn't skate for a year, I would trust my own opinion less than some kid who's eight years old, who's been skating for one year, who has, who's embraced it. Of course. I'll take his opinion over my own. Right. Just saying. Right. Cool. Honestly, triple flip. That was a lot more than three. We should end it on that. That was a good. Cool. Yeah, no, I think we covered everything. And uh, it was a pleasure having you on the show, John. Thank you, Michael, sir. I still don't have a name for the show yet. All right, John has a channel, YouTube channel. If you guys don't know, if you're new to this channel, I don't typically do videos like this every day. I do these about once a week. Uh, mostly, I just post skateboarding. and skateboarding related content, always. This is skateboarding related content. But anyways. I don't typically talk for like 10 minutes or more, but John has a channel. It's in the description below. Lots if you don't know who he is, I'm sure you do, but if you don't, it's down there. Go check it out. He's awesome. Thanks, Doc. Oreo, I love these milk and cookies. I told you eight! Oh my god. I am the one, the way you're trying to. Dale, you know how to do this better than I do, right? Tell the truth. <laughs>